Welcome to something I really never thought I'd be doing ever again. And the fact that I'm doing this right now has an actual purpose to it. Uh, this is a Mario ROM hack called Notte Luminosa. Now the reason I'm doing this is because I received a message today from a person called Digital X Gamer, Digital Cross Gamer, however you want to pronounce it. Uh, he pointed me out to someone on Super Mario World Central by the name of uh, Yanama. Sorry if I'm butchering the pronunciations. But Yanama is dying of leukemia. And he's been a prominent uh, hacker on there for a while. And one of his things he said in his final post, his goodbye post, was essentially kind of wish someone had LP'd this game that I made. So Digital Cross Gamer gave me the link to the ROM hack thread, and against my better judgment, I am temporarily coming out of ROM hack retirement to record this. Now, I am aware that uh, Raukow is also doing this LP at the same time. Honestly, at this point, I think it's the the more people who kind of do this, the better. Now, I guess some people might find this really weird, like, A, why are you just coming out doing this person's ROM hack? What if he's lying? And That's, it's the internet, I can understand people being a bit skeptical about that. And just a bunch of other things, like, why, now that you've done a ROM hack, people are just going to keep flooding with comments, where the hell is Superman, why are you stopping Gunstar, etc, etc. No, no, Superman's still going on, it'll continue after Gunstar, Gunstar is still continuing, that should be, the next episode should be up by the time, or like a day after this goes up. Uh, because, Ra are you doing this because Rauka is doing it? No. I'm doing it because there is a dying person who someone was kind enough to point out his request to me, and I don't want to be a douchebag, and I would like to help with that. The other thing is, I've had family members that have dealt with leukemia as well. It's kind of a, it's a touchy subject with me. A, a lot of diseases like that are, and I don't know, I just, I can understand how shitty in general it can be to deal with something like that, knowing that your life is could end at any moment. And, I don't know, I just, I, I just want to help in any way I can, and if that way is to do something that I don't enjoy as much as I used to, then I'll do it. Now having said that, if you do want to help in your own personal way, like, there's no way to specifically donate to... I can never pronounce his name. Yanama. Th to, there's no way, really, to help Yanama in that specific way. But what I do recommend is donating to a cancer society, some sort of charity that does deal with research. Like, I, by the time this is posted, I've made a donation to the Canadian Cancer Society. Since I'm Canadian, that makes more sense for the money to go there. Uh, any worldwide thing you can find of, I'll probably have a description of a number of the different places that you can cheer, you can donate to. I just think it's it's a good idea. You might have different opinions on charities or donations or whatever, but it's just how I feel. Okay, let's... Oh man, this is going to feel so weird. Alright, let's get back to it. Let us start the actual game here. Now the story is we are playing as this little bunny dude, a little alien, I think... Lumos, I believe, was the name. I'm sorry, I kind of went on a bit of a rant. Yes, I am Lumos. I'm a bunny. Uh, you have all the usual Mario World controls. This is just really showing how many years I've been out of like the whole ROM hack thing because there's, there's cutscenes with text. I'm used to just having to deal with hidden blocks being everywhere. Okay, so our buddy Yoshi here is just giving us a straightforward explanation of what goes on here. Like, yellow, you have to collect as many stars as you can. The story is that the bad guy is basically getting power from collecting all the stars, so you have to go out of your way to collect stars to fight back. So anything marked with any space yellow with bleh, marked with a yellow notifier is a one exit stage. Anything with a red is multiple exits. So standard Mario World deal. Also explaining some other locations to check out, whether a store is open or not, uh, if you want to save your progress. And that there are secret exits and everything, but you need a certain amount of stars to enter them. So it's surprisingly detailed, especially for what I used to deal with. So, this is this is like this is the flashback, essentially. <laughs> don't don't get used to it. This 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 is a one-time deal. Okay. So those are our item boxes by the looks of it. Looks like. Okay, and the B switches instead of P switches. And these lovely platforms that you can only go through one specific side. So they they marked off the side you can't go through with notches. That's actually really clever. 
Anything else I should worry about? Okay, looks like Alpha Coins instead of Yoshi Coins. Yep, Star Shards can also be connected for key- Oh, okay, so that's- that's the key down there, essentially, so that makes sense. And was there anything else here? Oh, it feels- I'm not gonna lie, guys, this is- Okay, four stars to go through that pipe, that makes sense. Not gonna lie, this feels kind of weird doing this again, because I can't even think the last time I played Mario World. Because it's been a couple years since I've bothered to play a ROM hack in general. So, and especially doesn't help that I've been playing a lot of Mario U lately. Ah, oh, dude, Kirby music! Ooh, hello. You Do you lead anywhere, or is that just a red herring? That is totally a red herring. Let's get ourselves killed on the first enemy. I think that's... That, that'll be my welcome back to playing a ROM hack again. It's just massive stupidity. Oh, I love that bass line. Listen to that. That's, that's Sega Genesis right there. Okay, hearts appear to be the mushrooms. I wonder what the if there's a fire flower in this or not. I gotta worry about secret exits in that too, because I gotta try to get them all. I do whatever I can to get through here in full. But unfortunately, I have a feeling how little I remember about ROM hacks is gonna be my downfall here. The Lunoma Fields are named after the type of grass. Okay, so looks like they've actually got storyline type explanations for. Ooh. Good, good dodge, John. Good job. Good job. The best job ever. It looks like they've actually ex explained some of the the look to it, which is kind of nice. And I can't get that alpha coin as a result of my stupidity. Twice in a row. Falling for it. Two for two. So if you haven't noticed, I, uh, I stopped playing Mario for a long time. Oh, Castlevania, rub it in too, why don't you? Jeez. <sighs> Let's get back to where we were. Okay, so it looks like... Is that the fire flower? Yeah, okay, I've turned red. It's obviously the fire flower. And those are destructible blocks. Good to know. God. Okay, the one thing... I, I, I'm just kind of sitting here listening to the bass line the whole time. I'm just... I'm kind of a sucker for... Bad jumps. You know what? Let's do something I haven't done in a while. Space time rewind into a better position. <laughs> so this is what would have happened had I kept ROM hack LPing for a long time. So it's probably a good thing I'd stopped. No, of course. Oh, okay, and it goes straight to small mode too. All right, that's a good thing to notice. Uh, can I use that? Okay. See, the problem is, like, I've also been playing a lot of Mario U, so my initial intention was just to walk up to that wall and see if I went through it. Because to show how much I've been adjusting to that compared to this. See? I'm not gonna even try it now, just because just I've said it. That's how it works. And I don't think I can go through this pipe. Nope. It's got a good feel to it so far, at least, but... I feel like... In, in the years it's been since I've actually was doing serious ROM hack LPs again, a lot of things about LP... Well, not LPing. Oh, yeah, okay, a lot of things about LPing changed too, but a lot of things about ROM hacks in general changed. Like, I never... The closest thing I ever LP'd to something like this was TKO. And we all know how TKO was a, was a good game. I don't know where I was going with that. Okay. <laughs> the, the main thing is, like, uh, yeah, the music was changed, the graphics changed, but I never had to deal with, like, cutscenes and character changes like this. Major overhaul. So, like, I, a lot of this was around when I was when I was doing ROM hack LPings, but it's just weird to finally make sure to... Oh, on the head. Okay, so it is just telling me, jump on people to kill people. Good to know. All right, now I saw that pipe back there, so something tells me you actually do something if I go back there. Yeah, you lead me into a pit. That's great. Okay, here we go. This looks right. Yeah, okay, that's a little bit more obvious. I'll I'll go with that. Let's 
that baseline. Okay, what happens if I jump over here? Yeah. Death is meaningless in ROM hacks. That sounded really screeching, actually, when I put the key together. Wait, is that all that did? Well, I guess I collected a star, but all it seemed to do was fix the trees. I could always access all those guys normally, so... I guess there's something more to this stage. I can't tell if I'm powered up or not. That's one thing that's starting to bug me, actually. I'm trying not to be too... critical. But at the same time, there's always, like, little things that'll... that can throw you off, and... Maybe I just wasn't noticing how you look if you're small anyways, and I can't double check it because it appears like those are just these yellow switch palaces. So they're just mushrooms. I could just hit myself and find out, but where's the fun in that? Because that'll happen naturally anyways, too. You? I'm not a fan of you. See, at least this one lets you know the difference because you've switched colors, but... Maybe you are a tiny bit smaller when you get them, too. Maybe I'm just not being observant. That it wouldn't be the first time, and I doubt it'll be the last. I guess I should also explain, because I'm sure someone's probably thought it. Why do I sound different? I'm actually fighting off a cold while doing this, so... I'm sorry if my voice sounds a little... A little odd than usual. I'm also using... I guess by now you might have adjusted to it, but a different headphone headset than what I used to use. This is the same one I've been using since uh, Donkey Kong onwards, so... I use it in Gunstar as well. But if you're wondering why I sound just kind of drained, it's because of uh, it's because of the cold. So I I would have waited, but uh, he says he's only got about a week or two left. So I wanted to at least at least help him out and let him have something to watch. God, it's, I'm sorry if it's depressing, and but yeah, you, you know you know what I mean. Uh, okay, let's just take you along with me, I guess. Oh, okay, you're the spin blocks. Gotcha. Uh, do you do anything? No, you're you're just a red herring. Oh, it's gonna bug me. All this music sounds so familiar. And I'm stuck in midair. I guess that's where I have to go. That looks very end of stage to me. What changes this time? Ah, uh, the water went down. That's interesting. Did that actually add anything over here? Mm, seemingly not. It just made it look a little bit fancier. Okay, so I'm gonna assume there's only two exits there, so let's try out the Shining Bastion. What? <laughs> I can't tell what I can and can't. I'm gonna assume because their heads are round. I like that's a dry bones, obviously. Oh, that's the spiny thing. I swear I've seen this kind of character design before. I'm trying to think of what. Okay, so no, there is no size difference. Okay, that's that's gonna be a thing to get used to. Wait, you can't. I thought you could always spin jump on those things. I really have been forgetting Mario World. Holy cow. Let's see if I can get through here. Ignoring my my health of factorial four. Okay, I can probably get up there, but Okay, yeah, there we go. Perfect. What are you throwing? Looks like you're throwing a ball with a can no, I guess it's representative of a ninja star. A ninja star sphere. I have a feeling I need that. Now the only things I read about this game before I started was uh it's got, I think, 30-something exits. Or is that 40-something exits, 30-something stages. And that there's a bunch of puzzles. Some of them being a little tricky to figure out. So hopefully I'm not going to be stuck in a temporal loop trying to solve something. I noticed the stage gave me about 700 plus... 700 plus seconds. So, uh... I guess it'll be interesting to see what I can and can't do in this stage. And apparently I need that pipes there for some reason. Besides giving me a power-up, which I could desperately use. There must be a beast with- WHAT?! That really has been a while. My what sounds off. 
my calling card, saying the word what in a very high pitch. I'm gonna guess that's a thwomp. That would be a yes. Okay, I can't jump through those, because the but I have to fall through by the looks of it. Okay, what's this way? Let us solve a mystery. We're not solving that mystery. I'm not finding any hidden blocks. Springboards probably needed to get up there. I guess I could do this. That's a lot easier. Except not helpful because I need a springboard. So that's what that springboard that's off there is for. Oh, what? Come on! No, no, that happens in normal Mario World. I shouldn't be getting upset about that. I like how I get angry then reassure myself about what I did was wrong anyways. Like, where's the blind rage, man? Used to be cool. <laughs> Used to be Mario cool. Oh, thank God that's water. Oh, I guess I need to go back and get the springboard. Can I even get up there now? I don't even remember how I got up there in the first place. I think I should just use that pipe to reset everything. Because I should still have the P-switch, right? Yeah, okay, or the, sorry, the B-switch. Still remember some tricks from from those days. I like how I'm reminiscing. I'm waxing, waxing poetic about freaking when I used to play ROM hacks. Because I didn't play enough Mario as it was. I still, I still play too much Mario as it is, since like I said before I'm playing Mario U, practicing that one up, because it's been a while and I played way too much Mario 2, so you think I, or Mario, new Super Mario Brothers U 2, the band, the game, where you have to play as Bono trying to save the rest of the U2. They would, they would probably do that. Someone would probably make a U2 platforming game. I mean, they made Revolution X, that was, you had to play as Aerosmith, so why the heck not at this point? Okay, there we go. Oh man, I hope this Rombat doesn't expect too many trick throws or double grabs or anything like that. I always sucked at those. And these are probably all coins. Oh, it's a multi-coin. I don't know why I'm bothering to collect coins, considering I have save states. Speaking of, I haven't used an actual save state itself, have I? Is this the button I marked it to? Oh, that 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 feels like getting re-addicted to a drug. That's bad. That's that's bad. Let's let's not abuse that. Looks like they're shooting lipstick. Lipstick missiles at me. Oh, I can get up here. I can't use any of these as a pipe. Okay, I think I see what you have to do here. That was, I keep forgetting I can't land on that. These are probably the uh, spinning blocks again. Yes, they are. Wait, am I? And I don't like that chatter noise. I'm gonna see. This is another reset pipe, isn't it? It's too easy to access. Sure enough, totally is. And there's a saw blade up there. What happens if I do that? This this seems like the Whoa! Hi! Okay, so is this just a puzzle then in that case? Okay, doing what I'm doing and sending it down here seems like the worst idea. <laughs> I'm guessing there's got to be something more to it than that. They wouldn't have a saw blade you just led down everywhere. Oh, I am big. Right, I keep forgetting that. And oh, shoot, shoot, shoot! Wait, can't I just? I assume you're supposed to spin jump over that, but can't I just run over it? That that wasn't actually it, was it? Yeah, that, yeah. Okay, okay, and scrolling suddenly, and a fire flower. And another song that sounds really familiar, but I can't place it. Ah. Why 
Why do I know where you're from, but I can't think of what your name is? I, I kind of recognize the tune, but I don't know what it's from. Nope. Okay, maybe I don't recognize it. I'm just making up tunes in my head, apparently. Uh-oh. That's bad. I'm small now, I think. I'm not about to test this theory. That's a pipe. I guess I was, because it just made me big again. Ooh, slow down. Hey, wait, I killed you, didn't I? What? So nice, I had to do it twice. Okay, so what is with you? Whoa! What do you do? You are... I guess you're the keyhole, so I guess... Did I see someone over here? Yeah, okay, there we go. So I guess I have to grab that key and put it in the keyhole. Aha! Let's do a little... Our little star dance. Oh, that actually kind of looks neat. Yeah. It would look better, I guess, if it was reversed, because now it doesn't look like a star. And that unlocked... And another castle. Secret Lotto 1. Alright, let's check it out, and then we'll probably call it here. I just noticed my score is all 9s, except for that 0. Okay, this seems like something I have to choose the correct path. Uh, kind of like that Mario 2. I'm going to guess that's a 1-up, because it looks like the mushroom and that was a fire flower, so... Okay, that was kind of neat! Do I get to go back in there again and... Actually, I wonder. Or is this one of those destroyed stages? Oh, it's a save point. That's actually a really good point. And then I can't... Nope, they disabled to go back in the stages. So I cannot go back in there. I am trying the, the shoulder trick, in case anyone's wondering. Alright, cool. Uh, at that point, I guess we'll have to call it for now. So I have enough stars so I can go see what that pipe does. Maybe we should go check that out. But we will check it out right now, actually, because I... I'm way too curious. I swear this sounds like something from Ease. And I accidentally left the stage. Space time rewind. Wait, what? These just warp to different worlds? 8, 18, 15. Why is that one lower? 20. And there's a green pipe on that side. Well, I'm not gonna be able to use any of these for a while. Guess we're coming back. Anyways, I guess that calls it for this episode, so I will see you guys uh, next week. Don't forget to check the bottom for Cancer Society donations and figure out stuff like that. I'll see you guys next episode.